all the positive comments from my look at the People's Choice Classic Sprint, I've decided to have a little look at Stage 1 from earlier this morning. As we know, Caleb Ewan won again, seems unstoppable just now, but I thought I'd go back and look at just over the last kilometre uh, to take a closer look at some of the sprint trains. So, as we can see, we're just coming up to the kilometre to go flag. And for a change, Orica are slightly out of position. Dad Olympia has decided that now is the time to bring them up uh, because with a kilometre to go and only Kluger and Ewan behind them, they really need to be up at the front. Dimension Data and Sunweb are the two teams surprisingly in control just now. The problem for both of these squads is that it's a headwind and you don't really want to be left on the front with a kilometre going only one man in a headwind. You can see here that we have the very fast approaching Orica train on this side. We have a couple of Sunweb riders here, three of them, and here are the Dimension Data riders. That's Renshaw just tucked in here. Uh, that's Nicky Sam on the back of the Sunweb train. But watch out for the fast arriving Orica boys who know when to time their, their run to perfection. And just away down the bottom, we can make out the world champion Peter Sagan with Sam Bennett on his wheel. When it's a headwind, there is no point in being up here. You're going to be exposed to far too much wind. So let's roll it on a little bit. We can see that MP has done a very good job at bringing the Orica boys up. Sagan knows what he's doing, so he's just going to follow that Orica train. He's on Caleb's wheel, which is clearly the right place to be. Danny Van Poppel's in here. He goes on to finish second on the stage and it's going to get a little bit chaotic at the front when the two teams in control realise they don't have enough men and they're too far out. Things start to get very, very messy just in a minute. Now, Orica, you can see MP's managed to bring them all the way up to the front. So in what was about 200 metres, MP's made up a huge amount of ground. Again, a superb performance by the South African. And Impey hits the front. Now Kluger, at this point, decided not to go with Daryl Impey, simply because it's too far out. There's still just over a kilometre to go. There's no way Kluger wants to be right out in front of the wind at this point. So he's just settled in behind some of the other riders. So that's us through the kilometre to go flag. Dimension Data rider looking round. Again, Renshaw has decided he doesn't want to be right at the front. He's got no enough men. So he just pulled off and he's gone slightly further behind. And now this is where it gets messy. The Sunweb riders realise they've not got a, a good train together and they start moving all over the place. The Dimension Data rider has pulled out to the side. We can see Sagan is down here uh, and he's still got Bennett on his wheel. This is the Orica train now. Kluger and Caleb Ewan in a good position. Again, Kluger, very experienced, doesn't want to hit the front too early. We're well, inside the final kilometre. Kluger's just had a little look round to make sure Caleb's still there. More of the Sunweb riders are going to come to the front in a second. They are going to carry this lucky gentleman here with them. This is Nicolo Bonifacio, who gets the ride on a good train to take him up to the front. There we go. We can see the Sunweb riders and Bonifacio just ghosting in here. We've got Kluger, we've got Ewan, we've got Sagan, we've got Bennett. At this point, Kluger starts to get a little worried that he's going to get boxed in and Caleb isn't going to be able to sprint properly. So he's going to look for some space to the right-hand side. And the space just opens up for him. So at this point, Kluger decides, probably about 600 metres to go, that he wants to take Caleb up to the front. Sagan's there, he knows this is going to happen. He also wants to follow the move. And we can see they just start to move forward on the right-hand side. Jumping on the back of Caleb Ewan was actually Danny Van Poppel. He got in before Sagan, which was a nice move by Van Poppel. Sagan's still here, Bennett's still behind him. Kluger keeps going, and all of a sudden, we're getting to the front. He slightly slows down realising that he's just expended quite a lot of energy and he doesn't have much left and it's still too far out. Sagan senses this and he decides to launch a proper lead out, not like what he did in the People's Choice Classic. Now, Sagan goes. 
then it follows, which is exactly what he should be doing. Unfortunate for him, Ewan is very attentive and he's going to jump straight on the back of Sam Bennett's wheel. You can just see it from this angle. Sagan, Bennett, Ewan. Sagan, proper lead out, doing really well. At this point, we can see Ant launching his sprint for Giant. Bennett, if anything, launches his sprint just a second too late. He just gets jumped by some of the other riders. So now Ewan sees the giant rider going and he pops out to the side. Bennett's left on the other side of the road. Van Poppel goes straight through the middle. Ewan takes the win. Van Poppel second, Bennett third. Another classic bit of riding by Caleb Ewan and the Oroca boys. Sagan did a really good lead out, but unfortunately on the day for Bennett, he was simply beaten by a faster man.